Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at filling a pattern with a gradient in Illustrator. Now this video was prompted by a question from a subscriber, Andrea, and thank you for asking the question. The question is, can you fill a pattern like this pattern of black dots on the screen with a gradient? Now what she wanted to do was to make a document, fill it with the pattern and then put the gradient into the dots. She doesn't want it to be a repeat pattern itself. She just wants to recolor a document filled with a repeat pattern. And that's something completely different. It's also very achievable. So we're going to start with a document. I'm just going to make my 1920 by 1080, which is screen size. For the sake of completeness, if you've never made a pattern before in Illustrator, let's quickly make our dot pattern. I'm going to the ellipse tool. I'll hold the shift key as I drag out an ellipse. I'm going to fill it with black and remove the stroke from it. So it's just a black circle. With it selected, we're going to make a pattern from it using object and then pattern make. I'm going to use brick by row so that I can get this offset look in my pattern. I have this option here enabled. You can see it's sort of gray. So I'm going to start to increase the spacing between the objects so that I have a pattern that looks pretty much like this. I'm happy with that. I'll click done. I don't need this circle any longer, so I'll select and delete it. I'm going to make my rectangle and I'm going to fill it with my pattern. So I'll go to the rectangle tool. I'll make a rectangle that is the exact same size as my artboard, which is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to center it on the artboard. My align options here are set to align to artboard, so you might need to do that. Well, they weren't, but they're working like they were. So it is now set to align to artboard, and that means that the horizontal align center and vertical align center will align that rectangle to the artboard. We're going to fill it with our pattern. So I have the fill selected here. Let's go to our pattern and click on it. And now we have a rectangle filled with our pattern. And what we want to do is to actually replace the black dots with a gradient. And the gradient is going to sweep across the entire document. So what we need is another rectangle exactly the same size. And we need it to be centered over the artboard exactly as this one was. But this time, instead of filling with our pattern, I'm going to fill it with a gradient. And I'm going to go and find a gradient in the collection of gradients ship with Illustrator. So I'm going to my swatches panel. I'll go down here to libraries menu. I'll go to gradients. And I like the sky gradient, so I'm going to click on sky. And I'll select a sky gradient to use. So I'm thinking this is going to be an attractive one. So at this stage, you would perfect your gradient. You would do with your gradient whatever you wanted to do with it. You could have it come from a corner. You could turn it into a radial gradient. It doesn't matter. But just do what it is that you want it to look like by the time it's used to replace those black dots in the pattern. We'll go here to the Layers panel. I'm just going to make my thumbnails a bit larger so you can see a bit better what's going on. I have a gradient filled rectangle on top and I have a rectangle filled with my pattern underneath. So here's my pattern filled rectangle. Well, I'm going to target that pattern filled rectangle and I'm going to copy it. So I'll choose edit and then copy. So that's now copied to the Windows or the Mac clipboard, depending on what sort of operating system you're using. I'm going to turn off the visibility of that rectangle. I'm going to turn back on the visibility of my rectangle filled with my gradient and I'll click over here to target it. So this rectangle filled with the gradient is now targeted. We're going to use the transparency panel. You may never have used that before and that's just fine. We'll go to window and then transparency. Here in the transparency panel, there is an option that says make mask. So we're going to click on that. We're also going to paste our rectangle filled with our pattern into this mask. You can see that the mask here has a little border around it. That means we're targeting the mask. And so when we do our paste, we're going to be pasting into the mask. So I'll choose Edit and now Paste. Now we can't see anything at this stage. That's fine. You may not be able to see anything. The next thing to do is to click Invert Mask. And that inverts the mask, so what might have been black is now white. And that's showing up the gradient that we had in the rectangle. 
Now there is a word of warning about working with the transparency panel and you're going to make this mistake because everybody does. The mistake is that you stay in the transparency panel and then you start trying to work in Illustrator. If we have a look in the layers panel over here, you'll see the layer says opacity mask and the selection is an opacity mask. You can't go back to editing in Illustrator and have it behave as you expect it to do if you are still editing your mask. And one look at the layers panel will tell you that you're still editing the mask. So before you close down the transparency panel and to get back to Illustrator behaving as Illustrator should, you have to click here. And when you click here, you'll see that you're going back to the normal layers panel. Everything looks as it should look. And now you can just close down the transparency panel. Those transparency options are also available through the appearance panel. So if we go down to opacity for this particular shape, you'll see that we have a mask created here and we can get back to the mask and its options by just selecting on it here. The reason why I don't encourage you to use the transparency options in the appearance panel is that they tend to disappear. So as soon as you sort of move away and try and do something else, they totally disappear. And that is not reminding you that you're in the transparency mask. And so you might very easily think that you've just exited out and wonder why Illustrator is not behaving. So I don't encourage you to use that. I prefer to use the option that's window and transparency, the exact same settings. But in this case, it's this dialogue tends to stay visible until you close it. And that's a reminder that you need to do something before you exit. It. And that is, of course, click here to make sure that you're here and not on the mask itself. So that's how you can fill a black pattern in Illustrator with a gradient. Now it will have to be black. The reason for that is that masks work with shades of grey. If you use black, you will reveal the entire content of the gradient in that box. If you only use grey, you're going to get a sort of muted version, a slightly opaque version of that gradient. So you want to make sure that your initial pattern is black and then you'll find that the gradient option will work perfectly. Now, of course, this pattern is not a repeat itself, but that wasn't what we set out to do. What we set out to do was to replace the black in this pattern, the pattern of dots, with a gradient. And that's what we've done. Now, before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.